Okay, guys, let's uh, let's take a look up here for a sec. I'll, I'll walk you through a little bit of this. My screen is uh, is temporarily working if I don't breathe on it at the moment. So um, I'm going to try to run through this, and then I can ask answer questions and stuff. I just want to show you guys how you can do some some simple. And so so the data is yours, right? You guys download it, save a copy of your desktop, save a copy of your Google Drive, and just start playing with it. If you screw it up. I would actually download it, if I already download it, then I duplicate it for myself, just so I have the raw, clean thing before I did anything. If I screw some up, I can always go back and, and recreate stuff. Um, okay, so, so this is what we have. I just um, have uploaded a new one here called Merged, and that, as we'll look at in a second, that has um, the different flavors of the data in one, sh in, in one file, okay? So I'm putting that in this folder here just so we can play with it called data analysis exercise. You could do the same. And so I have this here in, in this merge form in, in a Google Sheet form. You don't have to do this in Google Sheets, but just since um, I'm having computer challenges, we'll do it in here. Um, you could do the same thing in Excel. You could do the same thing in other uh, whatever programs you feel um, like you want to use. But let's uh, check out this demo. So I've Okay. Okay. So here we go. Okay. So we have, so uh, the, the stuff I showed you first coded, right? Where the answer is, uh, maybe there's four possible answers. The first option was coded as number one. The second option is number two, three, etc. So that's there. But that can be a little confusing if you don't remember what what one, two, three was. So you can also jump over to here, and now when we look over, it says UAV instead of you know one or two or three. It actually says the choice that people picked. And so that's great for reference. Again, it gets really cumbersome because our we have lots of some of the answers had lots of words. So, so you know some of these the answer is I have never purchased or received a UAV, right? So that gets gets awkward. But you can use that to double check, right? So you, so you can go back and forth. A lot easier to manipulate the coded one, yeah. And so you guys can choose to do this however you want. So one the simplest way if you want to know say how did people that uh, how did people that uh, 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 purchase a UAV feel about this versus, versus people that didn't purchase a UAV? We can come down here and for example, let's say, um, uh, there's various ways to do this. Let's do a simple one. So I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom of the data, of the existing data and then do some, put some formulas in, yeah? So for example, right here, this, this answer was uh, people that, what do we call the predator, right? This column here, column T. And if this isn't making sense, you guys stop me. Is everybody good so far? Okay, so let's say we wanted to know this. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna scroll down. I've just frozen this. So I've just uh, selected this and gone up to, uh, was it view? And said, you know, freeze it. So that it's easier for me to manipulate. It doesn't change the data at all. It's just a different way to present the data. Okay, so let's say I scroll down here. Sorry, let's first check, sorry. So uh, option two, so, so the row six, it was option two. Let's go over here. So the first one, uh, option two uh, is, I think this is, this is one row off because I inserted something, so UAV. Okay, so, so two is UAV. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll down here, and I'm gonna say, all right, dude, I wanna know Let's add uh, 200 more rows to the bottom. Um, a quick note on how to deal with Google Sheets. Google Sheets does not behave as, as does Excel. So Google, to, because it's an online document and you guys might be sharing it or you might be collaborating with various people, it tries to make it as small as possible. So you decide, we just, I had imported this, this uh, folder and it was X number of columns, X number of rows, that's all that's in the sheet. Whereas in Excel, it would go scroll off to, you know, I don't know, hundreds of columns to the right and maybe thousands of rows down below. It'll shrink that. And so it's not a problem. All you have to do is if you, wanna, if you come to the right here and you wanted to do something, you just select that column and say add a column or on the bottom add a row. But just realize that that will do that. If, in this data sheet right now, if I went and copied a bunch more rows, if I had an extra 100 rows of data I found and pasted it in here, Excel or uh, excuse me, Google Sheets would just cut it off. So you'd lose the data. 
So once you've started your sheet, the first time it'll, it'll make it as big as it needs to be. But once you've started your sheet, you need to manually go in and make sure it's big enough to import whatever the other things are. Or it'll, it'll just curtail it. Cool. And that's coming from someone that's lost data because I didn't realize that at first. So, okay. So come to the bottom down here. And so first I'll do something like uh, count. Right? So I'm going to count from the bottom, which is 657. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to hold my shift key down. I'm going to go to the, oh, I guess it's up, it's up to here, I guess. Counts up there. Boom. So in, in this uh, Q3, people that, that responded about the predator, uh, there was 581 people responded. So that's, that can be my denominator. Everybody making sense to me? Make sense to you guys, I mean? So we can call this, we can call this guy total responses. Yeah. Maybe align it so it's a little easier to read. Okay. And then how many times did people say to, oops, to aka UAV? Right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this. If I just copy the same thing here, right, it's gonna give me the same value. But I don't want to count everything, I just want to count values that say are number two. So I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna come up here. I say count if these guys here equal value two. So 290 people responded with that particular response, in this case number two, right? And we could progress, and then I could just say, this could be something like number, and this could be something like percent, right? So they get to say the per, this percent of people that said predators should be called the UAV, uh, 49, about 50%. Is it uh, so, so, so if you're ever curious with these formulas, if I click in them, in this case, there's a single command and it says, it says count the stuff between this range, which is highlighted orange in here. It says right here, it says T5 to T657. Notice when I click inside the formula on uh, this cell, or excuse me, when I click inside this formula up here on the bar, it made it orange. So because we've, because I've squished the, because I've squished the, or, or, or um, I had it visualized differently, you can't see, but right, if we scroll up, you'll see all these things are orange. So if you're ever, if you're ever wondering, did I, did I do it on the right column, that'll tell you. Does that answer your question? Uh, yes, and so then we do that, and then I do it again for the same exact, for so I don't remember what, the, uh, what number one was, but we could do the same exact formula like this, right? Copy and come down here. Don't paste but insert inside in paste, so it'll be exact. And I can just change this two to a one. And now that, that's the value for, and then, right, so we, we, we can manually do that. So we can go all the way through and get those values, right? And maybe write those down. Okay, so of all the population that we surveyed, whatever, 50% think this, 20% think that, or whatever, right? And then we can come in and we can say, hey, let's sort this data. So I'm gonna come up here. I'm going to select this range. And what do we want to sort it by? Sort it by, um, let's do it something simple. So let's do something like, uh, uh, which one? Where's vocation? Yeah, which, which one though? There's different ones. Which one do you want to sort it by? So county is, is column is column DN, right? So I'm gonna go, okay, let's come up here. I'm gonna say data sort, don't sort sheet, don't sort sheet, sort uh, by uh, create a filter or sort by range. And so I wanna sort, so this, so it's a range now I've selected. Is everybody, is this going, everybody okay with this? Making sense? And I can say, okay, I wanna sort by, what do we call it, DN or something, right? If I selected another row of it, it, it would, yeah. 
So, uh, so if, I, if I selected the next one up and I click this, then it would have the text. But it, it's going to be lots of text. It's, it's, it's okay. It's, just, it, it's a little bit faster to do it like this. Did you take my laptop? I, I did. Can sorry. Give him a different laptop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay. So there we go. Boom. So now it's sorted. The data is going to be exactly the same. That formula is going to be exactly the same. But now that I've sorted it by DN, right? So now all Los Angeles is together, right? Now I can come. What the hell? Now I can come up, for example. Or actually, let's see the opposite. Let's, let's just see what Los Angeles is, right? Now I can come down here and select everything that isn't Los Angeles. Everything that isn't Los Angeles, go down here. And say, edit, uh, uh, delete values. Now they're all gone, right? So that's why I want to make sure we have our backup data in case we screw up. But if we scroll back over to here, you'll see these numbers are different now. The total value is only 100. So of, of people in Los Angeles, 136 people responded to this question. And 64 thought it was, whatever it was, UAV or whatever the heck it was, right? And so that translates to 47%. So we had whatever it was, 49% before. So it's pretty similar to the overall. All right? And then we can just do something like this. We can do undo. And it's going to return all that. And then I can go and I can delete the other, the, you know, delete. Now I can delete LA and Orange County. You know, we can work the way th your way through like that. And that's not the most elegant way, but it, it's a way that'll work if your computer screen dies and you can't get to all your stuff easily, right? So that, that's, act, that's accessible to you guys wherever you are. Whatever consulting firm you go to, whatever, everybody has access to Excel or Google Sheets. And again, not the most efficient way, but for you guys just doing a couple questions, it's a few minutes and you can get the answers, right? So you don't have to have access to a big statistical program or whatever particular platform. Does that make sense? So if you want to say, how does, how does this answer depend, vary if we're condition X, you can, you can set up the formula first for everything and then sequentially delete the, the males and then the females or by whatever. Cool? Okay, another one I want to show you that you can do. And so that's just like, you know, raw. What's the answer? Boom. Another thing we can do is let's scroll over. Oops, where am I? Oops, 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 oops. Okay. So, um, for example, we asked, in, th in this case, this was a question that was, how many, how many times have you flown a drone as either the head pilot or assistant of it? And this is where people gave answers, right? And I told you that I adjusted some of these. So I'm going to use this adjusted one. Rather than using question 11, I'm going to use this one because then they're all numbers. So I can just come down here. You could do max min, you could ever whatever floats your boat, whatever is your whatever your question makes sense for you. And I could do something like average. And I can go from say here to here. So on average, when people did people that do have a drone, so again, this was only for people that had a drone. This wasn't people that didn't fly, that would all be zero, 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 and give us a skewed number. But for people that have operated a drone, they've flown a uh, about 14 times in the last six months, right? So two-ish times a month on average, something like that. And then we can do the same thing here. This was how many times have you crashed, right? And so on average, half people claim, well, who, maybe they're right, maybe they're wrong, but they claim they've only had a significant crash on average uh, half a flight. And so then we can say something like, you know, what proportion of their flights are crashes so according to these guys, about 4% of the time that they had a significant crash, right? So, and this is but one small example. You guys could take this however, whatever your interest is. You could take this value, average it, boom, 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 boom. The other one I want to point out that's an easy way to do when people have a lot of choices because of how I coded it. Okay, so these guys, right? So this was, this question was one of the ones, uh, would you favor people being able to use, you know, these groups being able to use UAVs? And it was... It was this group and this group and this group and this group, right? And so, so we had negative, people were, were negative about those guys using them, like very negative, negative, neutral, positive, or very positive, right? And so the way we coded those 
And so this really shows why the numbers are, are a more useful way, right? Even though it's, it's a little confusing at first, we have to maybe go double check for the things like the name, like it's not intuitive as to th those two res re refer to UAV or drone or whatever. But for most of these, it should be intuitive. So in this case, um, the, neg the minus two is the most negative that people uh, or, or uh, support people have, the least support. The positive two is the most support. Does that make sense? So in that case, what we can just come, what we can do is just come on down here. Again, we'll scroll to the bottom somewhere. Like, let's call it here. And I'm going to say, I'm, let me just average this, right? So I'm going to AV ER average. I'm going to do the range. Okay, so on average, uh, people were, now right now we don't know, we don't have a sense for that, this first one. It was 0.38, so it's slightly positive, but we don't know is that how that compares to other things. So then once we have that formula, we can just copy that, paste, 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 paste. Let's see, what is this, question 14? Paste, paste, paste. Okay, so here we go. So this was the general public, businesses, journalists, police, uh, fire and, and, and first responders kind of stuff, university folks like us, Fed, what, what was the first one, the full one? Federal government, uh, state government, right? Or state, state slash local government, okay? So now we can look at these. So check it out. So the one that's most positive is fire. So people are 1.4. So, so the average is beyond just supportive. They're halfway between supportive and very supportive. So that's, so people, if anybody uses these, this technology, they think it's appropriate for fire and first responders to use this technology. Who's the next most popular? Uh, you and I are the next most popular, right? So people think that's totally, yep, university people should totally be messing with this and doing stuff. And then it starts to drop, right? Who's next? Uh, next is police, but look at police is, is about half of us, right? About half as positive as they are towards us. Um, and then it goes, let's see, you guys can help me here. Then it looks like next is um, businesses, followed by general public, Joe Blow, and then, and then there's uh, the feds and state are, are about tied. So people seem to think the federal government and the state, or they see, they perceive the use of this technology by federal folks or state and local folks as essentially the same. But then check it out. The least supportive, the, the least group they wanna have using this, journalists, right? Less than police, less than the government. And we've seen that every single year we've done this. The things, the, the group people are almost across the board are least supportive of are journalists using this. Have they ever been like negative averages? Because now they're all positive. That's a good question. Uh, yes, they have been. I, I, I don't, I have to go back and look, but, um, but this, this general pattern relative has been the same. But I think things have been getting slightly more positive over the years. Yeah, that's a great question. Does that make sense? So super simple, takes three or four minutes to just bang out whatever your particular Vili Bob is. But this coded text is a lot easier for you guys to, to manipulate, even though you might want to just jump over to the choice text to just double check what, which was UAV coded as a one or a two or a seven or whatever. Does that make sense? Okay, so with that, I'm gonna give you guys a few minutes to play around and see if you guys can explore stuff and, and, uh, and, and see if you guys can make a little bit of progress on exploring your individual topics. And you guys can ask me questions about stuff. Does that make sense? All right, good. Ready, set, go.